These are people you don't want to mess with. It's probably best to stay on their good side if you ever come across them. A little over 10 years ago, this is the face you'd see if you fell on the wrong side of the law. Retired SWAT officer and Marine Corps veteran Tony Sentmanot is a terrifyingly intimidating individual. From the rippling bodybuilder physique to his proficiency with firearms, this is one guy you don't want to mess with. Even though his days of service might be over, Tony still keeps up his grueling training regimen, full of high-impact weights, core-burning sit-ups, and uniquely intense strongman exercises. They call him the Georgian Hulk, and with just one look at Levon Saganofshali, it's easy to see why. Apart from having comically large arms that make real firearms look like toy guns, Levon is a seven-time world champion arm wrestler. He's got a grip that makes most opponents want to tap out. How does he achieve such incredible strength? I guess it's easy when you can hand tow a 10,000-pound Hummer and power slap watermelons in your spare time. Fatality. This is the real-life Hawkeye, only there's no CGI, no green screen, just pure, unadulterated talent. James Dean is an archery genius, able to not only pull off insane no-look trick shots with pinpoint accuracy, but his signature bow allows him to literally shoot around corners. There's no hiding behind walls when James has his quiver full of arrows ready and waiting. That's how you do it. He can hit droplets of water, multiple targets at the same time, even clay targets while backflipping on a trampoline. If James Dean ever misses, I'm yet to see it. Eddie Hall's not your run-of-the-mill bodybuilder. He's taken out countless strongman awards, including one where he pulled a 44,000-pound plane 24 meters along a runway. His upper body strength is next level. From bending fry pans with his bare hands to bench pressing multiple people at the same time, those arms should be considered deadly weapons. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. You especially don't want to get into a boxing ring with him. I've seen what he does to boxing machines at the arcade. Strength and speed is one thing, but when you combine that with killer technique, you have someone that's definitely not worth messing with. Samuel Eriksson is a freestyle martial artist from Sweden that somehow has the holy trinity of fighting talents. Skills, speed, and the striking power to send opponents flying. You gotta feel for the guy working the pads when Eriksson winds up a flurry of kicks. But whether he's assaulting pumpkins or setting new records on the arcade punching machine, Oi. The only place you don't want to meet this popular fighter is inside the ring. Shi Yun Shu has been training his whole life to become the Shaolin warrior he is today. Specializing in the tiger fist style, Shi trains day and night to condition and strengthen his body into an impenetrable weapon. The secret to tiger fist is strength in the fingers, so a big part of Shi's training regiment centers around conditioning his hands and fingers. Paired with his incredible speed and terrifyingly effective fighting style, Shi is a furious force to be reckoned with. You'd think with such an intense 24-7 training schedule, there'd be no time for a Shaolin warrior to even grab a meal. Well. Luckily, she can multitask. Tasty. While most bodybuilders bulk to look good in the mirror, Blessing Awadabu is taking his body transformation to new heights. Aiming for the coveted title of Mr. Olympia, this Nigerian-born Irish bodybuilder has dedicated the past few years to bulking and sculpting his body to be bigger and better. Now, some might say he has an unhealthy obsession with protein powder. <laughs> But whatever Blessing's doing, it seems to be working. The only downside to being this massive? You apparently forget how to use the front door. While they may have invented automatic firearms over 100 years ago, with the right skill set, good old-fashioned revolver will get the job done. Cisco Master Gunfighter, real name Gil Guerrero Jr., has been lining up targets with his six-shooter ever since he was 14. Over four decades of experience means Cisco is incredibly good at what he does. In fact, he's a 10-time Fast Draw World Champion. Not only can he fire out five bullets in under a second, but he can hit all five targets with extreme precision. Still not scared? He doesn't even need to see you to double tap with two guns. He can do it blindfolded. But it's not just revolvers that he's mastered. If it's got a trigger and a loaded chamber, he can unleash chaos in the blink of an eye. Copping a punch to the face hurts a lot. Just ask anyone who's ever stepped in the ring against Francis Nagano. While most fighters have a specialty hand, each one of Francis's fists have the potential to send opponents to sleep. In fact, in 2017 at the UFC Performance Institute, Francis set the world record for the hardest punch ever measured. At a force of over 129,000 units, Nagano's punch has the equivalent horsepower of a small family car. This all comes from some truly hardcore training, one-arm push-ups, lightning-fast bag work, and core strengthening during his tea break. 
In the world of strongmen, JD Anderson is revered on a whole nother level. While others may want to flex their power by picking up tons of weight, Anderson has a different approach in mind. The strongman has pulled off some absolutely inhuman feats as nothing more than a warm-up, but even those pale in comparison to what you're about to see next. In 2017, JD would up the ante and earn his Iceman nickname after attempting to break the most solid slabs of ice with his head. Just imagine if your body were these blocks. Probably not the best idea. While traditional samurais have all but died out, there's at least one warrior who's bringing the deadly tradition to the 21st century. Isao Machi is a modern-day ninja. Warming up with a game of real-life fruit ninja, Isao goes on to cut coiled straw mats like they were made from paper. His strikes are so fast that not even a powerful robot can keep up. But the real test comes when baseballs are pitched at him 160 kilometers per hour. In less than two-tenths of a second, he's able to slice the baseball in half midair. His nickname's Robin Hood, only he doesn't steal from the rich and give to the poor. He does, however, share the same horseback archery skills as the fabled medieval hero. Lucas Novotny is dead shot accurate, even while his steed gallops along at full speed. He says that his secret is his handmade bow, crafted in the same way Mongolians made theirs over 5,000 years ago. But really, it's a lifetime of training and practice to be the ultimate horseback archer. Competitions are a mere formality for this master, as he dominates every event, hitting bullseye after after bullseye, time after time. At 65 years old, most people are ready to retire. But this is Masaaki Ikemiyagi, the grandmaster of Goju Ryu Karate. While he might tire out in a long fight, Masaaki generally only needs one punch. The power he can generate from a single strike is incredible. Add that to his conditioned knuckles, which feel like stone, and you'll never make the mistake of getting on his bad side. Mastering the nunchaku is a skill possessed by the lucky few. Introducing Yuan Yonghui, a master of the nunchaku so deadly, he'd make the little dragon proud. Not only are his maneuvers lightning fast, but he seems to be perfectly in control. And if you thought nunchucks were just for show, Yuan proves just how powerful a single strike can be. But it's not just nunchucks that make up Yuan's arsenal. This pro martial artist is also pinpoint accurate with throwing knives too. Not only are Kareem Duigo's shins indestructible, he uses them as a deadly weapon. Without pain, the man nicknamed Iron Shins discovered his unique skill while training as a martial artist. After conquering piggy banks and large stacks of concrete, Kareem set out to see if his baseball bat-breaking talents are worthy of a world record. With the help of 16 friends manning 8 bat stands, Kareem snapped an astonishing 65 bats with his shins in just one minute. Anthony Kelly might not look like a superhero, but behind his mild-mannered appearance is a man with lightning-fast reflexes. Fire an arrow directly into the air, and most people run for cover. Not Anthony. He can catch an arrow on its way down first try. But that's just the start of it. Even arrows directly at him can be plucked out of the air mid-flight. One second too late, and he misses the arrow. One second too early, and he ends up with an arrow through his hand. Kevin Taylor has some of the strongest hands in the world. Nicknamed Iron Fists, Kevin turned his freakish talent into a career while smashing records at the same time. If he's not smashing more than 500 concrete blocks in a row, you can find him punching through car windows or breaking thick glass demijohns. But it's his signature performance that really kicks it up a notch. He sets the concrete blocks on fire before smashing them. Just when you think he does it all for fun, Kevin's Iron Fists have earned him three Guinness World Records in counting. After training in several martial arts styles, Styles, Korean born In Jin Yu is the undisputed master of tricking, a blend of high altitude acrobatics and intense martial arts that's both mesmerizing and intimidating to watch. It all started with the mastery of a 540 degree spinning kick, one of the most difficult maneuvers in Taekwondo. From there, he regularly defies both gravity and logic. He's able to launch himself into the air from 10 feet away, perform four complete aerial corkscrew revolutions, and then deliver a strike with so much brutal force that he's literally able to break solid wood boards. Words. Meet Abish P. Dominic, a man who needs nothing more than his own two hands to bring into battle. After studying a type of martial arts called Kalari, the self-proclaimed hammer hands went on to set records with his iron-like fists. First up were coconuts. He managed to smash a whopping 146 in just 60 seconds. Then came the concrete slabs and house bricks, obliterating them with little to no effort. The only thing stopping this guy is a splinter. 
they say you should never mess with a Marine. And Julian Miguel Arroyo is living proof of that. Even among fellow soldiers, Julian stands out for his incredible strength and endurance. In fact, he's been officially recognized as the strongest Marine in active service. From long free weight sessions to endurance cardio and full tactical gear, Julian pushes his body to the limit on a daily basis. His training sessions are so intense, most people get tired just watching him.